When you try to render something in Sony or Magix Vegas, the resulting rendered output has inverted colors. Or maybe the output has kind of blue tint to it. The reason this happens is that you have an AMD product instead of a video card. So instead of getting a proper video card, you ended up purchasing a placeholder instead of a video card, which are AMD products, mostly Radeon and Vega and all of them. These cards are not made for graphics. They are bad at video games. They are bad at video rendering. For a brief amount of time, they were good for Bitcoin and Ethereum mining. That's basically not even graphics. That's wasting electricity while chunking on some very large numbers. And even in that regard, they were quickly surpassed by NVIDIA cards. And AMD so-called video cards have problems lasting for at least 20 years, way before AMD actually acquired the video card business from ATI. For example, they distorted mouse cursor, a bug which still appears in new video cards from AMD, dates back at least 15 years. But AMD not only is not able to make decent video cards, AMD is also notoriously bad writing drivers for them. And the issue you have with Vegas, or DaVinci Resolve for that matter, is exactly driver related. AMD even mentions that in the driver's release notes, that this is a known issue no one is going to fix. The latest AMD driver at the moment I'm making this video is 22.8.1, and the issue was present in 22.7.1 several versions before. So besides the obvious way to go, that means to throw away or sell your AMD video card and never touch any AMD product in your life and go and purchase an Nvidia card or an Intel card instead of Radeon. Apart from that, you basically have three ways to fix this. The first one is to sit and wait while or should I say if AMD will ever fix this issue and wait for the new drivers and install them. The second way is to remove your current Radeon drivers with DDU, that's a special third-party utility to remove video drivers, and after that install a very old driver, something like 22.5.1 or 22.5.2 should work, However, this is only possible for older Radeon video cards, since newer Radeon video cards require a newer driver, and they might not work with the older one. So if you are forced to use the latest driver from AMD, and you have this issue of inverted colors in rendered videos in Vegas, you have to go to the Options menu in Magix Vegas, choose Preferences, then open the Video tab, and turn off the setting which is called GPU Acceleration for Video Processing, which is currently set to Optimal, and your video card, in this case Advanced Maker Devices, which is AMD. So change this setting to Off. After that, hit Apply. You will have to restart Vegas, and after that, the issue with color inversion should be gone. You may also experience a little bit of lag, since you are not using your video card to process video anymore. Or maybe not, since most modern CPUs have the required video codecs and horsepower to handle that anyway. Having that said, I also advise you against using video card acceleration while rendering the video. When you hit render as in Sony Vegas, you are presented with different formats to export your video, and when choosing these formats, do not select anything that has AMD VCE in the name. Choose the same thing without the AMD addition. This will render your video using your CPU only, regardless if this is an Intel CPU or AMD CPU, that doesn't matter. Just don't use your AMD cards anywhere in Magix Vegas or DaVinci Resolve. I'm not so sure about DaVinci Resolve, since it relies on video card to work. It doesn't even start if your video card does not support certain OpenGL functions, while Sony or Magix Vegas does not, and this method will definitely fix your Sony Vegas issue. I am the god of YouTube. 
like, subscribe, thanks, jingle bells.